uh, afternoon and welcome to episode 12 of the Pavela Trying for Save. Um, I played a few games in between, I think just two actually. So I played Tobin Moore United and Coleraine, Tobin Moore in the Cup and Coleraine in the League. And both of them are quite easy wins. I think I played a lot of youth players in the Tobin Moore game, including the youth goalkeeper who's been unreliable in the past. Um, Cliftonville fans, the YouTube account, uh, replied as well and said that Tobin Moore, uh, interestingly, were the last team that George Best played for in his career. He played one game for them before retiring. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know why he played one game. Maybe I should research that before the video. But um, we're going to be on now to play Lana in the league and Linfield as well, which should be the big first versus second game in the league. And uh, the Cliftonville fans account also informed me that um, I should have looked into this at the beginning of the season. And I've definitely experienced now a lot of leagues, but I think there's wow uh, breaks off into a championship group. So oh yeah, so the top six teams go into the championship group. I've seen this before. And I don't really like it as a format, to be honest. Um, I, I think I've seen it in the Czech league most prominently. But it, it provides extra challenge for me because I normally beat the the weaker teams and then lose to the stronger teams, which didn't seem to have happened during this save. But we'll see. Maybe I will suddenly lose it at the end. But yeah, so go to championship group and then in the championship group, five teams play each other once. I don't understand what this quarter final thing is now. Oh, this is the European players playoff quarter final. Okay, we, we ignore that then. So it's just the champ. We just play the. the my speaker. I don't know what happened there. Um but it's over now. <laughs> so yeah we play the five game the play five games against the other five teams in the top six. So that'll probably be um at this point definitely Linfield and Crusaders and Dungan and Swift's actually shit, they were they were actually quite bad early in the league. I thought the last game would be easy but they're in the top four now. And Lana still um still not in the top six. They might even be in the championship group. So yes, yeah, so we'll have to play five more games at the end of the season. And they'll be big games as well, so we'll see. So I'm gonna show these two now and then and we're gonna release another video for the Crusaders Dunga and Swifts and then we'll have at least one, probably two, maybe even three videos from the championship group to decide the title. So here we go with Lan. I probably should show the team first, but you'll see it in a second in their match preview. Uh, so yeah, we lost. Um, oh, I've forgotten their names. It feels like ages ago now. Uh, we lost Stephen Hill at centre, a, a kind of deep line playmaker role. And we lost Stephen Murner, who was attacking midfield cover. But we didn't lose any first team players. But it was just quite frustrating seeing some depth away from the team. Also, we lost. Um, I can't remember his first name now. Maximilian Zock, who was our attacking midfield right, maybe first choice. Probably slightly stronger than Curran, but. They have a similar ability. Oh, no one responded to my play your own game will win. Uh, feedback. I don't really know. I'm just going to leave it. Let's hand over to the assistant for now. But, um, but yes, I've got a lot less def depth in the squad now. I've got a few youth players getting more into the um, onto the bench as a result. But it means that not going to take injuries very well. Oh god, they're fucking playing Stephen Hill as well. Oh, that's so annoying. He was the one I was most upset about as well. I liked, kind of liked Murnau. I was kind of coming round to him, but um, Stephen Hill was the one that. Oh, that's a penalty. Shit. Uh, Stephen Hill was the one that I had quite a fondness for. He plays as well as my formations as well. I was a deep like playmaker. Go on, Leo. Go on. Oh, he went the right way, but it was a good penalty. I was dissing Lon loads before this game as well. If I um, lose against them now, I'll be quite disappointed. I don't think I'd skip the penalty replay. I'm not playing. Oh, no, we're not playing badly. We're getting a lot of possession. Well, that seems to be going the other way a bit now. They've got quite a defensive formation as well. These formations normally work out quite well for. Um, I'm going to say push forward. These formations only work out quite well for. Wow, we're playing really high up the park. Wait. 
appears that way anyway. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that formation I've played quite a few times. It's quite good for counter attack defensive. Wow, they're all red as well. They have a really bad first half. Only one highlight, wasn't that? That was the bloody penalty. Um, let's go to the dressing room. Yeah, they're playing very mediocre. I'm gonna have to give them a give it a bollocking. Yeah, there's a lot of like senior players not really pulling their weight in this game. I'm gonna say Flanagan can make the difference for us because he really can. He scored some screamers. He scored some beautiful free kicks. He's got some great assists from free kicks. He really has the capacity to change the game very quickly. I think we might have to go more attacking. That, yeah, well, oh shit, we're in, we're in white and green. That's fucking Stephen Hill as well. Oh, oh he's a saved it, fucking all. Oh, I really thought Stephen Hill was going to um, ruin my day then. <laughs> I loved you, Stephen. Um, oh, go on, Chris, whip it in. Not the best. Cross or header? Oh wow, that was a hell of a last ditch challenge from Flanagan. <laughs> oh, good save though, good save. I'm gonna have to make some subs, we're really not playing very well. I'm gonna take Demirovic off for someone. See, this is where I'll bring Murner on, but I've got no cover. So I'm gonna put Flanagan in attacking midfield, and I'm gonna take Demirovic off for. <laughs> Again, that would normally take. I would normally put Thingy on there and Stephen Hill. I should have had um, what's his name? I should have had Max Brandt. I think his first name is Max. I should have had Brandt on the on the bench, but I seem to have cocked up and not put him on the bench. Yeah, I want to demand more, but I've got. One or two nervous players, so I'm a bit. Go on, Chris. Pass it across. Oh, Flanagan. Oh, that could have been it. Okay, I'm going to demand more. Fuck it. Demand more. We're already attacking. I think we're going to have to go all out attacking, I think. Okay. Very attacking. Win back attack. I'm going to bring Caseman off for Sienna Foster. And I'm tending to bring Gormley off. Although McKinney and McMenamin are. Yeah, let's do that instead. Yeah, and then just push up. Yeah. Maybe just uh, watching out for. I'm going to put Leo as a sweeper keeper. I never really do that, but um, oh, it's happened like this before as well. Where I've had it's very annoying. I'm gonna have to cancel it. I think it happened in one of the videos as well, where I had to suddenly do it all again. It didn't save it properly or something. Um, very attacking. Bring back attack. Then bring Foster on. And then take McMenamin off for McKinney and out of possession, higher, very high. Give team talk. Oh, bollocks. I've got no idea what's happening. I'm just going to do part of it instead for now. Very annoying. Yeah, okay. I'll do that for now. Give you to make the difference, and then I'm going to change the tactics now and see if it works. Because we do want to get that higher line, we're much more likely to score with it. Okay, that'll do. I think we're going to lose this, though. I don't think we're going to be able to break them down at the end. We only have one clear cut chance as well, but maybe McKinney can make some difference. But it's looking really unlikely now. It's over, isn't it? Yeah. 1-0 lost to Lan. Only four points clear now. 
could be a mad rush at the end now. Played all the big players as well. I mean, I could have had more players on the bench that would have made a difference, but this is basically the my first choice player in every position, or was before I made the subs. Yeah, I don't know how I would have not played. Yeah, Chris, no, no, that, that, that's it, that's the first team. Not good enough today. Um, Lucky Clark doesn't have to worry so much because he's very young there. Tell Fanny should have played better. I always, whenever I bring off subs for the bad performance, I always tell them that they let themselves down out there and deserve to come off. I don't know if it's really worth it, but it's what I do anyway. <laughs> oh, bloody media jumping on Stephen here as well. Oh, Stephen. Probably a fascist or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, um, he was English anyway, he needs an English player. Perfect. I'm just going to skip the time until um, the Linfield game. There's always not much happens in the gap and it seems a bit slow because the save's so big. It's quite slow. Sweet. So that remedy uh, brings me to the second game. It's Linfield, and I think we're at home for this game. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, we are. Uh, it's televised as well. Um, I'm not really sure what to do because I was playing the best team last game. I don't have the best cover in most positions. A lot of positions I do have good cover as well. Those players didn't play badly. So like Gormley didn't have a great game. And Curran and Demerovic didn't have a good game, but none of them have good cover. I could play Tom Maguire over Curran. Yeah, maybe I'll do that actually. But um, and I brought McKinney on for McMenamin, but every other position there's not a great side of cover. I brought Oren Brogan back onto the bench. He was suspended last game, that's why I had um, Sienna Foster play him. But just fingers crossed, because if we lose to Linfield, we're only being one point clear at that point. Which could mean the end of the season and um, loses it for us, but we'll see. Wouldn't be the end of the world though, I wouldn't mind an extra season in Belfast. Um, come on, Ives. I thought I had faith in um, Yeah, so I'm expecting a difficult game against Linfield as well. I think we just lost to Lawn, and I think Linfield are on good form apparently. And we were on good form, we hadn't lost a game in about 10 games, something crazy. We'd won a load in a row as well. I think we were away though. Yeah, we were away last game, so. Maybe Lauren just really good at home, I don't know. Uh, it's looking similar though so far. Very, very few highlights. Which was kind of the problem with the last game, in that we. Oh, yes! There's a fun dance first goal of the season. Or first goal ever, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was worried they were going to just part the bulls or at least keep us at bay all game. That was how we kind of lost the last one. Got a lot of yellow cards already. It's a good shot from Fontana. He got to the ball after as well. Yeah, he's the new um, Spanish sign I got in the January transfer window. He's like pretty good. He's not incredible, but he plays left back as well pretty well. Got a lot of yellow cards. We might not get a red in this game. But yeah, he's very young, he's only 21. He was one of those bloody problems with because of the work permit in Brexit. Um, which I know Northern Ireland didn't vote for. Sorry, guys. Oh, Gormley, you had to finish that. Oh. Yeah, we're not having the best game. Maguire's not playing very well, and Doherty's not playing very well. Oh no. Don't close him down. He's going to pass that forward. Oh, Chris Caseman. Probably the best tackler in the team as well. 12, it's not accurate actually. Come on, Leo. It's all down to the keeper now. No. A draw's not that bad though. If we draw Olympia, we're still going to be like four points clear, which puts us in good stead for the um, 
the championship group. <laughs> right in half time. God. Four yellow cards in the first half. No centre backs. It's worrying. I need to tell off a few players as well. I've got a lot of not performing very well players out there. I'm actually going to save the 6.4s and give them an aggressive. I'm not happy. I don't think either of them are particularly prone to nervousness or anxiety. I mean, in their um, their body language in the game, not like generally in their personal life. Although Chris Caseman didn't respond very well. Uh, I'm going to bring him off. Fuck it. He does my head in Chris Caseman. Sometimes he's great, sometimes he's not. Let's play Brogan. <coughs> Maybe that was a real, um, whatever the opposite to a pal move is. Um, playing, uh, taking off one of my only defenders that hasn't got a yellow card rather than the two centre backs who do have yellow cards. God, Gormley's having a stinger. 6.2. I'm going to have to take him off before the end of the game, I think. See if Leah Brown can get us a goal. It's a really bad time for, Le for Joe Gormley to suddenly um, have a bad run of form. Yes, Flanagan. Make the run, Gormley. Bloody hell. That was the chance. Flanagan was bounding forward. Ives his cross. Is that a penalty? Yes. Okay, Gormley is not taking it. Uh, I'm too worried that he will fuck it up. So Flanagan's going to take it. Hopefully I did it in time. Yes, I did. Okay. I might still take Gormley off as well. We'll see. Oh, Flanagan! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I need to take him off. <laughs> not Flanagan. Although I'm annoyed at Flanagan. Oh, God, he's playing badly as well. I mean Gormley, and I think I might bring off Tom Maguire as well. And I don't want to stay out of faith. I don't want to give them too much pressure because Leo Brown's not very old. And I'm going to say push forward. I don't want to go too aggressive because I don't mind drawing. It's one of their highlights. I know it isn't. I think it's not yours on the counter. There's Chris Curran and Leo Brown. Okay, who I just brought on. Whip it in, Chris. Oh, the out for the guys. Oh. I can't believe they friend this game away. Three, three clear cut chances, and one of them was a penalty as well. Maybe we haven't thrown it away. There's still got 10 minutes left. Yeah, they're not playing badly. I don't want to risk going to attack it. I'm just going to leave it on positive. Don't mind if there's a one or draw. Let's take it. I might regret that if I bloody lose like, the first game of the championship group and then only one point ahead of Linfield, but we'll see. <laughs> Appreciate their efforts. Yeah, we'll say that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna towel fun again, that was absolute shit. And I'm annoyed about it as well. I'm going to find Flanagan for that game. That was atrocious. You're all going to see it now. Let's see how he responds. Yeah, except to the warning. Good. Cool. That's um, the end of episode 12 of the Fellow Traveller. Um, thank you for watching all the way through. Um, please like the video and subscribe if you want to follow the story. Uh, I'm now going to stream and release videos on Mondays and Fridays just because I'm too disorganised to get free in. I might occasionally do a Wednesday one as well, but let's just say Monday and Friday for sure, and Wednesday um, sometimes. Um, I would like one day to start streaming some other games as well, not just keep playing Football Manager, but for now. I guess like I'd have to kind of left wing theme the other ones anyway. But yeah, for now just for manager and keeping this save going and finishing this season with Liftonville. Thanks everyone and have a nice afternoon. Bye.